Hello, hello everyone. This is Leah with Scott Leroy Marketing and in today's tip video I'm going to show you how you can move your documents from Dotloop over to the DocuSign platform. So we've been getting lots of questions on this so this will walk you through that right away. So what you want to do first is you want to log into Doc DocuSign. So you can go to realestate.docusign.com. Okay, so real estate .docusign.com is where you'll want to go to log into DocuSign if you access that outside of command. Right? Your DocuSign account would need to be linked up to KW Command first for this to work, so make sure your DocuSign is integrated with command. Uh, once that's done, again, you can go to realestate.docusign.com to log into your DocuSign account anytime. So you'll put in your email address and click continue. Go ahead and put in your password, and of course, there's that lovely forgot password option. I know there's a million passwords for everything, so if you can't remember it, you can always reset that and click log in. Now, before we go further on this as well, I do want to want you to note that you would have to create the opportunity first in KW Command. Okay, so for this process to work, please make sure you already have an opportunity created in KW Command. Okay, so we're moving over all documents from dot loop to an existing opportunity. It won't allow you to create a new one. Just a heads up on that. Okay, so where we need to go now that we're in DocuSign is we'll want to click on your headshot on the top right here and click settings from that drop down. So headshot on the top right, settings. From there, so I'll take you over to your DocuSign profile, we'll actually want to look at the left hand menu and you'll want to go ahead and click on Inbox Details. So we're selecting Inbox Details on the left hand side menu and here you'll notice an inbound email. Okay, dot loop had something similar. So you can edit this. So mine was something like Leah with a bunch of numbers after it before. So I changed that to Leah dot my last name. So you can change that if you would like to. So you can edit it here and click save changes. All right, so once we do that, so now I know what my DocuSign email address is and how to access that. So I'm going to pull up another tab in my browser. So leave DocuSign open. Pull up a new tab. If you're in Chrome, you'll just click the plus sign um, on the right hand side of any tab to open up a new tab. And you'll go ahead and go to dotloop.com or you can log in by going to MyKW. However, you normally get into Dotloop, go ahead and open that up. Okay, so from there, if you're watching this recorded and you are still trying to get over to your Dotloop account, feel free to pause it until you catch up. That's totally fine. And once you pull up Dotloop, we'll go ahead and click on the loop that I'd like to move over. I lied, that's not the loop I want to move over. It's this first one, sorry. So we'll go ahead and click on the loop. And I want all of these forms to be moved into my DocuSign account. Okay, this is an active listing that I'm working on. I need to continue working on. So I need to move these forms over. So what I'll need to do, so you can click the check mark, check box rather, to the left of any folder name. And if you do that, it will check all the check boxes here. Of course, if you don't want all of the forms to move over, you can check those one at a time. All right, but clicking the check box at the top will select all forms in that folder. And if you have multiple folders, you can do that for each folder. And we'll want to select the share button. Well, this is a little small. There we go. All right, so we'll want to go ahead and click share. All right, so I'm clicking share on the top right, big red button. And this big red button only shows up once you click, click the check boxes, so make sure to do that, and then we'll click share. Right, if you have a client in the loop, please make sure to uncheck your client. All right, big note on that, uncheck your client. If you leave your client checked, you'll send it over to them. So make sure you uncheck any clients that are currently in the loop. I we'll wanna go ahead and add in your DocuSign email that we just found. Okay, so we'll go ahead and put in our name 
I think I already put this in, so let's see. All right, yes, I did. So once you do this once, right, because you'll have to do this for each loop you have to, you want to move over. And once you put in your DocuSign email once, dot loop remembers it, just like you saw here. So go ahead and put in your name, whatever you want to name it. You're the only one who will see this. And your DocuSign email. So just to navigate that for you, again, we have two tabs open. So I'm switching back to the DocuSign tab. And that should say inbox details. And you'll want to basically just grab this email address here, so your whatever it might say in this blank, including at mail.docusign.net, so all of that together. And you'll want to go ahead and put it in this email field here. So that is your DocuSign email address. You will need to give yourself a role. It really doesn't matter what you give yourself. Uh, you can do listing agent, buying agent, whichever. No one sees that but you. So you do need to give yourself a role, and you can leave that on view only. That's totally fine. Now there's a very important step. This will not work unless you click this checkbox right here that says attach PDF to email. So please, please, please make sure to go ahead and check that checkbox on the bottom that says attach PDF to email. And then you can click share on the bottom right here. Go ahead and click share on the bottom right. It will wait for a second and then I'll give you this lovely yellow bar that says these documents have been shared waiting on others. Okay, so now it's confirmed that these documents right here have been sent over to my DocuSign email address. So now I can go ahead and click done here, X out of that. And I can navigate on over back to DocuSign. So again, that's just in a different tab here. So I'm switching back and forth. So it's a tab that says inbox details. All right, and this does take a little bit of time to pull in. I wanna say like 30 seconds is what I saw last time. So go ahead and click on inbox at the top of your screen. And look at that, I stalled long enough for those to pull through. So that, but if you're doing this, it does take a little bit of time. So if they're not there right away, don't be alarmed. But I can come to my inbox here and I see all those four forms that I just pulled over from dot loop. So now I have those in DocuSign in my inbox, and I'll want to go ahead and click Select All. Okay, you can select those one at a time. If I hover my mouse, it will give me the little dot here to check that. Or to make your life easier, just go ahead and click Select All if you're wanting to move all of these documents. All right, so from here, we'll want to go ahead and click on the icon that looks like a piece of paper with an arrow in it. Right, that's the Move icon. So go ahead and click where it says move. So again, just in case you didn't see that, this little icon, um, the first icon, kind of on the string of tools, it's a little icon that looks like a paper with an arrow. And if I hover my mouse over, it'll tell you it's the move icon. It will, it will then show you the documents that you're moving, and you can always X out of any documents you don't want to move. But at the top here, you're selecting a designation. Wow, destination, <laughs> selecting a destination of active rooms. Okay, but you can select whichever applies. Typically, that'll be active rooms, that top option. Once I select active rooms, it will then pull up another drop down that show me my active opportunities or my active rooms, which are, if you're not familiar or haven't heard the term rooms yet, that's the same thing as saying your loops and dot loops. So it's like your online folder where all your documents will be. So it's called Rooms in DocuSign. So you can go ahead and select the room that you would like these documents to be moved to. And again, this is why you need to create the opportunity first in command before you can do this process because it will only show you active loops, or sorry, active rooms. So used to dot loop. All right, and then we'll go ahead and click Move on the bottom right. You'll then see it moves all of those forms from your inbox, which I personally like, so that you can keep doing this process and you can easily see the new documents that come in. But to get back to all of your rooms, you can go ahead and click on Dashboard on the very top menu. That will show you any active rooms that you have going on here. And I can go ahead and click on the room that I just moved those documents to. 
in this room. I'll go ahead and click on the document section at the top and voila, there they are, those four documents that I moved over from Dot Loop. And once you get the hang of that, honestly, it'll go a lot faster. Um, but let me show you one last step. So you can also add from here, now that I have these documents added to my room, let me show you how easy it is to add it to an opportunity so you can submit it for compliance review to your office. So I'm going to pull up a new tab on my browser here and go into command. Again, that's agent.kw.com to access command. And on the left-hand side, I'll want to click on the icon that looks like Handshake. That's the opportunities. I'm going to click all opportunities at the top just so I can most quickly find the opportunity I'm looking for. So I'll click on all opportunities to view all of my opportunities collectively. And I'll select the opportunity I just moved those forms into. So now that I'm in that opportunity, I can go ahead and click the document section on the very top. So document section here. And you will see from this list, right, you should see a bunch of documents that are required by your office to add in. So what you'll want to do from here is I would go down the list and let's say I had this one is one of the forms I just moved over. I would come to add file on the right hand side. So I clicked on add file on the right hand side. It will give me the option to manually add that so you can add that from your computer or you can pull that from DocuSign. If I select DocuSign it will show me those documents that I just moved over I did this twice, that's why it's duplicating. I was practicing before. All right, so you can go ahead and click on the form that applies and click Assign. And that has now been added in. So you can see right here, that changed from not uploaded to uploaded. I can see the document right here. And then once I do that, for all the required documents here, I can then click Submit to MC at the top right here to submit that for compliance review right away. All right, so that was a tip video on how to get your documents from Dot Loop over to DocuSign and even add those into your opportunity to submit it to your Market Center for review. If you have any questions on that, feel free to let us know at support at scottleroymarketing.com. We're happy to help out. Hope this was helpful, guys. Take care.